there are products in the aisle and lift trucks rolling in. Here's the game to make you smile where anyone can win today on High Stacks. And now, here's the host of our show, a man whose career is always on the skids, Bill O'Lading. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Manny, and welcome everyone to High Stacks, a game of high stakes where charged up lift truck operators compete for a freight car full of fabulous prizes. And here's Manny Fest to tell you all about it. Yes, Bill, our lucky winner today will receive a matching set of designer sheepskin lift mittens by Poochie. These beautifully styled mittens are just what you and your lift truck need for slipping bird's eye frozen veggies into those chilly freezer cars. The best in sheep wear from Poochie. Look for the sign of the paw. And you'll be the envy of everyone on your dock when you charge up the aisle in your brand new Forkarate lift truck. This turbocharged mean machine comes loaded with a full pack of accessories, including four on the fork stick shift, leather bucket seats, mag wheels, AM FM Musac stereo, and other custom features designed to suit your palate. You'll drive them crazy when you drive away in your new Fork Karate lift truck, a product of the Skid Row Motor Company. A load of valuable prizes to lift up your spirits, and they could all be yours if you're today's lucky winner on High Stacks. Now, back to Bill O'Lading. Thank you, thank you very much, and thank you, Manny. Now it's time to meet today's players, the men who'll try to pack away those valuable prizes. First, from Fork Worth, Texas, a man who can pull pack 27 cartons of log cabin syrup on a slip sheet of Kleenex, let's all say hello to Big Moose Wheeler. <laughs> welcome, welcome to High Stacks, Moose. Thanks, Bill. And it's very ingratiating to be here. <laughs> I see. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Moose. Uh, well, Bill, uh, I've been married 20 years, and I got two little ones. My hat's off to you, Moose. I have a few kids myself. They're wonderful, aren't they? Uh, yeah, mine are little dears. Well, Moose, it's time now to meet your opponent, the man who'll compete head-to-head -head with you for all those fabulous pallets of prizes we heard about. He's a clamp truck operator who can't get a grip on himself. From Cargo, North Dakota, would you all give a warm welcome to Nat Stacker III. <laughs> welcome to High Stacks. Glad you could fly in to join us today, Nat. Well, thank you, William. You're a very ingratiating fellow. I've heard you're a pretty popular guy around the warehouse. Well, my friends do tend to swarm around me, Bill. Probably because I do my job so well. It must be pretty difficult being a clam truck operator in such a busy warehouse, huh, Nat? Well, Bill, it's not easy running a clam truck. But when the squeeze is on, I always manage to lift and separate. I see. Well, we're glad both you and Moose could join us today. And now it's time to play High Stacks. The object of the game is to score 10 prize-winning points by answering questions about lift truck operations. I'll show you a typical warehouse scene on the pickup screen where someone will make a mistake. Whoever spots the mistake first and honks in with the correct procedure scores one point and has a chance to pick up two extra points in a charged up lightning round which follows. The first player to score 10 points wins the game and goes on to play the exciting 10,000 bonus round where he can pick up some very sweet prizes. And speaking of sweet prizes, here comes our high stacks lady who cuts the category cards, Honeycomb Dunnage. Honeycomb, what's our first category? Our first category is called Losing Your Train of Thought. Okay, thank you very much. And now, players, if you're ready to play high stacks, Moose, oh, Moose, Moose, over here, yes. Players, if you're ready to play high stacks, put your hands on your horns and get ready to honk in when you see a mistake being made on the pickup screen, okay? We're looking for a safety hazard associated with loading a rail car. Uh-huh, uh, there's a foreman giving a lift truck operator his work orders. Uh, nothing unsafe about that. Now he's checking his truck against the operator's checklist. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I do that consciously. Uh, once a month, whether we need it or not. I do it once every day. Watch closely, players. Something could go wrong at any moment. Well, he finally got the darn truck started anyway. What the heck was that? Nat, I see you're the first to blow your own horn. 
I'll give you one prize point if you can tell me what went wrong. Well, Bill, it's quite obvious, really. Mm -hmm. The operator failed to park his lift truck parallel to the rail car door when opening it. If that door is not properly situated on its track, it could fall off on top of him, and he'd be caught in a real crunch. Congratulations, Nat. You won the round. <laughs> Matt Stacker the third, you're on the scoreboard with one prize point, and now you have a chance to pick up two additional bonus points in our exciting lightning round. <laughs> Nat, if you can name the eight steps necessary to inspect a rail car within 45 seconds, you'll scoop up two extra bonus points. But I must warn you, Nat, if you get caught missing any of the eight steps, or you run out of time, then Moose will have a chance to steal around and rack up those two valuable bonus points. So what do you want to do, Nat? Pass or play? Piece of cake, Bill. I can swallow whatever you can dish out. Okay, Nat, it's your poison. And Moose, in case Nat gets trapped, stand by to take those valuable points away from him. So set the clock for 45 seconds and good luck, Nat. Okay, Bill. First, you check the rollers on the outer doors to make sure they're in the tracks and that the tracks have no breaks or bends in them. Next, inspect the door to ensure that the third safety arm is operating properly. Then make sure the door lock isn't bent or broken. After that, check to be sure the bulkhead door rollers, trolley beam, and suspension are okay so the doors can be moved without them falling on top of you. Then, be on the lookout for water leaks, nails, or splinters in the rail car, which could damage your load. If that's all okay, you sweep out the car and spray it with insecticides. Oh, yes, don't use equipment attachments to open or move the doors because you might damage the doors or ruin your equipment. Congratulations, Nat. You just swept the round for two bonus points. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have an exciting game being staged here today. Checking the scoreboard, we see that Nat Stacker III has taken the lead in the game with three points and Moose... I'm sorry to say you're still 10 points away from that magic number. Uh, just give me a chance to use my head, Billy Boy, and you'll see some points. Okay, Moose, you'll get your chance to catch Nat in this next round. And now, Honeycomb, what's our second category? This category is called Keep On Trucking. Okay, Keep On Trucking. Moose, oh, Moose, I understand that's your category. Trucks are your specialty, aren't they, Moose? Only a semi-specialty, Bill. Uh, get it? Huh? <laughs> yes, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Players, it's time to play round two of our game, so watch the pickup screen and get ready to hit your honkers when you feel something is wrong. There goes the lift truck operator approaching a trailer truck on the dock. Don't bug me, Gennard. I'm trying to consecrate. <laughs> Moose is on the horn. For one prize point, Moose, do you know what mistake was made? Yeah, I came on his stupid show. I mean the mistake on the screen, Moose. Uh, certainly, Billy Boy. That knucklehead cut too big of a hole in the truck's airbag and it blew all the dirt right in his face. That's right, Moosehead. You got yourself a point. <laughs> How about that, Gnatty Boy? Gotta hand it to you, Moose. Nobody knows more about windbags than you do. Hey, was that a dig? Oh, I get it. You're using the psychological warfare. But you won't get to me, Gnatty boy. I got nothing up here to be afraid of. What a marvelous competitive spirit we've got going here today, huh, folks? Okay, Moose, you've got one point on the scoreboard now and have a chance to tie up the game with two more bonus points in our exciting lightning round. <laughs> Well, whoop-dee-doo. Moose, if you decide to go for it and don't make it all the way through, those two points could land in Nat's column. You bet, Bill. Why don't you buzz off, Nat? The decision is yours and yours alone. Do you want a chance to think about it? Bill, if you had a brain like mine, you wouldn't have to think about it. Now, let me hit that lightning round and I'll show you how to play it. Moose is going to hoof it. Isn't this exciting, ladies and gentlemen? Now, you understand how this works. Moose, 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the TV announcer goes on talking while I take a quick snooze. Moose, you're a breed apart. But you'd better put on your thinking cap for this one. We'll give you 20 seconds to name the four steps necessary to unload an inbound truck. Uh, four. And if you don't get them all in 20 seconds, and that does, you know what happens? Yeah, I throw up. No, Moose, no. Nat will have a chance to finish the round and win the two points. You have 20 seconds on the clock. Good luck, and here you go. Uh, first, the former breaks the seal, right? Uh, then the operator records the number of units on the inbound receiving sheet, uh, along with the, the, the product code and date. Eh? Uh, next, the operator deflates the airbag and removes the divider sheets, and then, and then you... Then you uh, two seconds, Moose. Uh, 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 then you take a 20-minute coffee break. Uh, uh, how about 15? Oh, I'm uh, sorry, Moose. Uh, 10 minutes? Uh, uh, can I have five? Too bad, Moose. You came out charging, but you ran out of time on the clock. Nat has a chance now to steal the round. Nat, if you can name the fourth step necessary to unload an inbound truck, you'll win the lightning round, and those two valuable bonus points will land on your side of the board. Can you tell me what it is, Nat? Certainly. It's very logical. The fourth step is to cull out damaged products and make notes of those damaged goods, shortages, and overages to give to the foreman. Congratulations, Nat. You've won the lightning round and two more bonus points. But that's not all. See, the foreman checks the amounts against what the shipper claims was sent. Uh, that's right? it, Nat. You won it. <laughs> and if it doesn't add up, you have to figure out where the mistake is. You can stop now, Nat. I mean, you'd certainly want to know what happened if you bought a six-pack of buttermilk and there were only five in the box when you got home. Buttermilk? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a load of excitement we have on the docks today. As Nat Stacker III pulls into the lead with a score of five points, with Big Moose Wheeler barely making his point. Uh oh players, there goes the work whistle, and you know what that means. It's time for your coffee break, and we'll be right back to play Double High Stacks, where all the prize points in the game double, and anybody can make the big score. Right, Honeycomb? Right, Bill. Aha! Uh -huh. We'll be back with more action right here on High Stacks. Good buddy, Bronco Bob right here, bringing you the low ball prices from Mile High City. You're going to get a lift when you see what dandy deals on wheels we have on the docks for you today. Now, looky right here. How much do you think you'd have to fork over for this pampered, pallet pleasing pony? It's been checked from stem to stern, from battery to tilt cylinders every darn day on the dock. That much? Well, you're wrong. Come on down and let's talk turkey. Now, one good turn deserves another. How about this slick filly stacked with lots of options? She won't steer you wrong, boys, and the price won't clap your pocket, and it won't cramp your style. Not good enough? You say, give me a break? Well, here's one bronc that's barely broken in with toe-touch brake action that lifts you right out of your seat. No skidding, and that's the horn honking truth. You're not sure? You want to know more? Good enough. Just straddle your old saddle and ski down right down here. That's Mile High Lift Truck on Colorado Boulevard, just off the Valley Highway, and two lights down from Shady's Pizza Plaza. When you smell the mozzarella, you know you're closing in on Bronco Bob. You come right on down here and let Bronco Bob take you for a ride. All contestants appearing on High Stacks today will receive a year's supply of musical strapping tape. Not only does this tape adhere to all federal standards for strength and cohesion, but it sings as it unwinds. Each 60-yard roll features such golden oldies as Don't Tape On My Blue Suede Shoes, and For He's a Strapping Good Fellow. When you tape up the top tier, you'll roll down memory lane with this 8-track musical strapping tape, and it's yours for a song from Candle Lift. And now, it's time to play Double High Stacks. Here once again is the man who knows the score, Bill O'Lading. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks again, Manny Fest. And welcome back, everyone, to Double High Stacks, where all the prize points in the game are now doubled. Checking the scoreboard once again, we see Nat Stacker III has taken the lead in the game with five points, while Big Moose Wheeler trails with only one point. But don't worry, Moose, even though the odds look stacked against you, in this game you've got a chance to get ahead with some more points. Just give me some questions that challenge my ineffectual capacity and stand back. 
terrific, because it's time now to play Double High Stacks. What's our next category, Honeycomb? This category is called the Scoop of the Century. Many thanks again. The Scoop of the Century. Contestants, uh, Moose. Contestants, you're looking for an incorrect way of using lift truck equipment on a rail car dock. So look at the pickup screen, put your hands on your horns, and get ready to play again. What a hard-working lift truck operator. That rail car plate must weigh a ton. He's getting under it with those lift truck platens. That guy's a real chiseler. Oh, wait a minute. That's wrong! Moose, I heard you honking for two prize points and a chance to win the round. What mistake did the lift truck operator make? He shouldn't have picked up the dock plate with his lift truck platens because chiseling the dock plate with the platens causes damage to them. That's using your head, Moose. You won the round and two prize points. Okay, Moose, you're on the right trail now. You've got three prize-winning points, and you can even up the score in a flash in our incredibly exciting, you guessed it, lightning round. Ain't that wonderful? Did you know, Moose, that in double high stacks, all the prize points are doubled? So this lightning round is worth four points. And if you can complete it without slipping up, then you'll be ahead with two points to spare. So what do you want to do, Moose? Pass or play? And pass it to me, Moosey. I can wing it. <laughs> Gee. What'll it be, Moose? We're almost out of time. Show me your lightning round, Bill, and watch my thunder. All right, Moose. We'll give you 30 seconds to name the six steps of a lift truck safety inspection. But remember, Moose. Well, why me? If you miss a step or run out of time on the clock, your, your opponent, opponent will, will get, get a chance, chance to steal the round. Okay, Moose, you've got 30 seconds on the clock to name the six steps of a lift truck inspection. Good luck. Uh, okay, Bill, uh, first you inspect the brake and make sure it's working, right? Uh, then you check the horn on the steering wheel. Uh, next, check the hydraulic controls to make sure they're operating. After that, you check your light to see if it's working. And, and also take a look at the rubber gripping pads on the front of the lift truck to make sure that they're lined upright. And then you, uh, 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 could you give me a hand, Bill? Uh, Time's blazing. Oh, I know. You got to make sure that the fire extinguisher's on a lift truck, right? That's super, Moose. You won the round and four prize points. I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Moose Wheeler has mounted an incredible comeback and now leads the game with seven prize-winning points to Nat Stacker's five. What a close game we've got going here. Full of competition, full of drama, full of excitement. Yeah, it's definitely full of something, Bill. Yeah, just be sure that you don't step up or step down into a pile of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, players, the game's not over until someone scores ten prize-winning points and gets to grab those two big prizes. And you'll have a chance to win some more points in our next round. Honeycomb, our next category is... This category is called All the World is a Stage. All the World's a Stage. Thank you very much, Honeycomb. Uh, Moose, uh, Nat, uh, players, players... We are looking for a mistake made while staging products on a rail car dock. Players, I'm sure that you both know all about stacking your own loads. <clears throat> yes, well, here's a chance to pick up two prize-winning points for showing us what you know. Once again, watch the pickup screen and stand by your honkers. Here comes our industrious friend again, carrying a load of product on his lift truck. Yeah, he's putting one of those lighter, uh, what do you call it? A flight unit's on top of a base unit. It looks all right to me. Nat, I heard your buzz. For two points, Nat, what mistake did you catch? Elementary, my dear William. A clear violation of one of the most basic principles of staging. The height of the stacks should all be uniform. And they weren't. Good for you, Nat. You won the round and two prize points. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, would you take a look at this? Nat Stacker III has just crawled from behind to tie up the score 7-7. Seven seven. Whoever wins the next round will pick up four points and win the game. Plus, that fabulous pallet load of prizes. But most important of all, our big winner today will go on to play the 10,000 bonus round. Nat Stacker III, the big advantage is yours now because you have first crack at the incredible lightning round. What happens if I decide not to take it? Well, then Moose will get a chance to take a strike at it. Oh, I see. And when, <clears throat> I mean, if he misses? Don't it sense me, Gannett. Well, naturally, if he doesn't complete the round in time, the game's yours. Tell me what I have to do to win the round. Okay, or... Nat. If you can name the seven steps necessary to stage a product for rail car loading within 30 seconds, you'll scoop up four bonus points and win the game. But... If you miss any of the points or run out of time on the clock, Moose will have a chance to complete the round and become today's big prize winner. So, what do you want to do, Nat? Pass or play? Well, Bill, just to show you what a good sport I am, I think I'll pass the round over to my old buddy Moose. Me? Oh, I get it. You think I'm stupid or something and don't know anything about staging. Well, let me tell you something, Gnatty boy. I got so much stuff up here, I don't even think about it. Well, Moose, here's a chance for you to use your head for more than a hat rack as we get set to play the lightning round. Are you all set, Moose? Take your best shot, Bill. All right. You've got 30 seconds on the clock for four points and the game, Moose... Name the seven important steps necessary to stage products for a rail car, and good luck. Right, uh, first, you set down a heavy unit, the base load, and uh, then you put the lighter float unit on top of it, uh, then match your unit sizes so the top unit isn't overhanging the bottom unit or they uh, could tip over in the rail car. And uh, next, take the top tier of all the boxes, and oh, you, you gotta remember to bend up the lips on the slip sheet so the pull pack unit can grab them, eh? Hurry up, most time's uh, running out. If, if you got uneven stacks, you've got to add partial product units to even them all out, and then remember to stage the stacks uh, at an angle so you can pull your, the trucks around them easier, and then you, uh... uh most time's uh, about to end. Ah, uh, that's right, Bill, I, I, I forgot that. You should load one end of the rail car, and then the other one, that, that way there's less collusion on the dock. Bully for you, Moose, you won the game. You're our new... High Stacks Champion. And we'll be done with our new champion, Moose Wheeler, to play the 10,000 bonus round right here on High Stacks. It comes in the night. In the night where the darkness has a thousand eyes. <sighs> List up, Lenny. Hey, George, give me a boost. This looks like a nice place to get off. Not so fast. Six of my legs are still asleep. Say, what's that strange sound? Quick, your flashlight. Uh-oh. A general foods warehouse. Then that sound must be the, the fog machine. machine. Beware of holes in the doors, the walls, or the floors where things may enter unseen. Watch out for droppings of things with legs or with wings or creeping creatures unclean. They come for food on the floors, in the tracks of the doors, and crannies hidden between. But to set things right, in the dead of the night, we let loose the fog machine. The fog machine ready to exterminate. Contestants on today's show will also receive this deluxe home game version of High Stacks. There's loads and unloads of fun in store for the whole family. Moms, dads, and kids will all get a big lift when they honk in for High Stacks prize points. You can tell us from Mel, it's swell. And now, it's time to play the 10,000 bonus round. Here once again is Bill O'Lading. Thank you. Thank you very much, Manny Fest. And for those of you who've just joined us today, you've just missed one of the most exciting games ever staged on our dock. 
Big Moose Wheeler here has just become our new high stacks champion and now has a chance to play the 10,000 bonus round where he can catch some really sweet prizes. How does that sound to you, Moose? 10,000? Uh, now you're talking. Uh, where's my dough? Well, not so fast, Moose. First, you have to win the bonus round, then you'll get the 10,000. Okay, okay. Uh, how do I play your dumb bonus round? Well, take a look at these nine cards. When properly arranged on the board, they spell out a well-known warehouse motto that's important to all lift truck operators everywhere. Uh, I thought, uh, well, uh, maybe it was an eye chart, uh, uh, a motto, huh? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, some uh, short-sighted slogan? <laughs> well, uh, it's not so easy to figure out, Moose. Uh, that's why you have to use your head, because it's pretty hard. But if you can arrange those letters to spell out that motto within 60 seconds, you'll be the winner of the bonus round and a chance to pick up 10,000 snackers. Now, you have that, Moose? I got it stored right up here in the attic. Terrific. I guess he ran out of room in the basement, folks. Anyway, it's time now for the 10,000 bonus round. So let's put 60 seconds on the clock and good luck, Moose. Here we go. That's fine. Well, one word already. Uh, let me see. That's I, I, well, fine. Hold on, I think I got something here. Uh, uh, let, let, Look uh, again, uh, Moose. Yeah, let's concentrate now. Oh, 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 oh. Well, honeycomb to the rescue. Up, back to the board, Moose. Moose, back to the board. The time is running. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hurry. Yeah, uh, 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 let me see. Uh, concentrate now. Think. You're doing uh, fine. Yeah, right, Stay with him, yeah, ladies right, and gentlemen. Looks good. Uh, Come on, Moose. Uh, 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 Time is running out. Yeah. What do we have here? Hey, I got it, what Bill. Does it hey. say? And I didn't even have to think about Work it. Work harder, not smarter. You're getting close, Moose. Well, well, getting well, close. It, it, it looks all right to me. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, well, wait, wait, let me see. Uh, I got the. Uh, oh, you know, Time is running out. Six. Five. Four. Three. Oh, look, look, I, I, I'm, I'm Moose. Kyle. I gotta sit down for a spell. Huh? No, Moose. Work smarter, not harder. That's it. Congratulations, Moose. You've just won the 10,000 bonus round. Well, whoop de doo Okay, where's my $10,000? Dollars? Who said anything about dollars? You're the grand prize winner of... What a sweet prize for a sweetheart of a guy. And that's our show for today, folks. We'll be back next week with new categories, new questions, and new prizes. And another 10,000 bonus round. All right here on High Stacks. Bye-bye, everybody.